Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you are new here, my name is Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we are the Leffersons, and we are at Disneyland right now. We are in Anaheim, and we are staying at the... Fairfield Anaheim Resort. And if you hear little noises behind us, that's because we are with our soon-to-be eight-month baby boy, James. So this was kind of our first big travel with him as a, a baby, I guess. So we went to Walt Disney World when he was three months. Mm -hmm. Now he's almost eight months, and this is like a week-long trip to Disneyland. But we picked this resort for a reason. We are so close to Disneyland. And this is the third time that we have been to Disneyland, and we've stayed at a couple other hotels. And we're trying to show uh, kind of the differences between some of the ones we stayed at. Go check out our other ones. We'll leave them linked down below. In case... <laughs> In case if you're wondering, we've stayed at the Anaheim Hotel in the Sheridan Park. So if you're interested in checking out those room tours, yeah, we'll leave them down below and all of our Disneyland vlogs down below, of course. And we have a whole Disneyland series coming. Um, but we're going to give you a room tour of our room. We literally just got in. So let's check it out together. Welcome. We are staying in room 456, obviously on the fourth floor, and this is our room. This is just an overview of what the room looks like. This is a two queen bed room. They do also have king beds if you just want a king bed, and I think those come with a couch, I'm pretty sure. This one is just two queens that comes with like a little love seat almost. This is basically where you are when you enter the room. You have this little love seat area. And it's also right next to the air conditioner. So I was thinking we would put the pack in play here, but now I'm not sure with the air conditioner right there, we might have to put it like against, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out where we put the pack in play, but I like this little added space, a little seating area, very nice. I was surprised that they had seating area for the two queens, so I like that. Um, obviously you also have a lamp and these nice little fireworks to look at, how cute. All right, so two queen beds. In the middle of the two queen beds, you have a side table. Um, a few things to note, there are a few drawers for storage and there is an alarm clock and there's also two plugs, which is really, really nice. Yay. So that if you need to charge your phone, you've got plugs right here. There's also like two different lamps on each side. So if you wanna turn off your side, you're welcome to do that. The baby does not come with the room. Though he is just oh so cute, right? Right? <laughs> he loves looking at my ears. <laughs> All right, so these two beds share the little bedside table right here, obviously. But on the other side, you do have the option to have a conjoining room, which we actually do have a conjoining room with my parents. So if we uh, need to go on over there, we can just knock on the door and then, you know, you can have two rooms. This actually might be a good spot for the pack and play. Currently our stroller is there. But we also have a big TV. I did notice that this TV has like Netflix and stuff, so you can like log in and stream your typical stuff, which will be perfect for tonight, because I think we're gonna have a little night in tonight. And then you have these big drawers. I actually really like these big drawers. This will be perfect for storage, don't you think? So four drawers total, and then you have two smaller ones over there. Right here, you also have a nice desk area, which will be perfect for charging and working and editing videos and all the things that we're gonna have to do while we're here. We have some videos to upload while we're here, so this will be perfect to work at. Does come with this nice little mirror, and of course, the lamp still has chargers, which is perfect. We love seeing chargers. Here's a little thermostat right here. I don't know, so it looks like you could go down to 65 in case if you were wondering. Right now it's at 70 and we'll probably keep it there for James. Um, there is some little nice palm tree artwork over here and then you have this sliding door. So this leads into the bathroom. And welcome to the bathroom area. This actually is really nice because it does create two rooms so it does create a little bit of privacy on this side. But as you come right in, you have your single vanity. So we have the vanity with some shelving over on the side here, which is nice to, you can put your toiletries and you have some extra towels down below. It comes with soap. Um, I think is there, we'll see if there's, there's a hair dryer down there. Oh, there's a hair dryer there's down, there. down there. Those the are in fact oh, drawers. Nice. If you want to like store your makeup or anything down there. That's what I was thinking. Then if you come over to this side, you have your iron ironing board, closet, luggage rack. Just a little bit of extra storage up here on top. 
Then if you come down, you have uh, some, it looks like coffee pod things to go in your coffee potty thing. It does have water, but it's $4 per bottle. Um, your ice bucket, a big old drawer, which actually houses your safe. I, I don't know how safe they are, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll test it. And then down beneath that, you have your mini fridge and it is truly just a mini fridge. There is a little is freezer. Ah, so it has a little bit of a freezer part into it. And so let's come into the actual bathroom, the throne room. You have a toilet, you got a shower. It has some uh, Alice and Co botanicals. Uh, soap and stuff. We haven't showered yet. Okay, this shower is tall guy approved. I'm six foot two and it's and I don't have to like oh, Bend down. It oh, just it got it on me. Just got you. Yeah, I don't have to like you you know tall people understand uh, But a curved rack. I mean towels. What can you what more can you say about a bathroom Toilet. really? So Alyssa and I were just discussing it and we said that this room feels kind of like a pop century um Vibe. Yeah, yeah it's, for sure. It's about the same size, honestly, mm -hmm. um, minus a, like a pull down bed or anything. Yeah, it's like very simplistic, but it's like got everything that you need. And that's all you need. And it's an exterior entry building, so it doesn't have interior hallways. Yeah. Um, and if that's if you need that to feel good, you know, find a <laughs> hotel that has that. But you're, you're in Anaheim and the weather is Most of the hotels perfection. here are more like motel style versus indoor halls. So, um, but that is pretty much it. I yeah. feel like it was a pretty quick room tour, but there you go. There you get the gist of it. And we're gonna- We're gonna unpack. <laughs> we're gonna unpack in. and get our lives together. And uh, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Jesus. If you've, if you've stayed here, uh, let us know what you thought of it. We have found that it's so far been really convenient to the park. Yeah. Um, so we need to go take care of this guy. Yeah. So um, tomorrow will be our first day at Disneyland. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button and hit that bell icon. Yep. So you can stay up to date on our Disneyland series. Yep. This will be his first time. Cause the last time he was here, he was in mama's belly. That is so true. We came for our baby moon, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more content and we will see you all real soon. <laughs> bye guys. See you later. Say, say bye James. <laughs> Must touch. <laughs> yes. <laughs>